All right. In my last video, I was talking about basically just the ups and downs of this whole journey and that. You know, you're not going to have it every single day mentally, physically. And, you know, when that video went up, basically, I was I, I didn't have it that day. You know, sometimes it just everything kind of adds up. And, you know, I don't feel like recording these videos, but, you know, fuck all that. I'm staying consistent, just like I'm staying consistent with the sledding. And I've talked about overtraining before on this channel and, you know, why I think it's bullshit. You know, obviously there is you know, a such thing as overtraining, okay? There will be some people that will train so fucking hard that they will literally piss blood, okay? That's overtraining. You who works out five days a week for an hour, you cannot overtrain. So for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to say... There is no such thing as overtraining. There's only such thing as under recovery. And I'm not going to get into this whole rant about me, you know, screaming at the thing. But basically, my point is, you know, anybody can benefit from pushing themselves harder. And one thing that people, one misconception that people have is that you can't do an exercise every day um and it kind of just goes back to like a lot of society's uh you know views on things nowadays you know our society has changed so much in recent times like the 40 hour work week has only been a thing since when i don't know like the fucking the, I don't know, maybe the, the 1930s, who the fuck knows, but, you know, it hasn't been a whole century, or it hasn't been much over a century, before that, fucking people were working seven days a week, and before that, you think people had rest days, no, people were out fucking, you know, killing animals and shit every single fucking day. You know, basically, they were out there grinding every day because it was every day was survival mode. And if you're a man and you're and you're looking to increase the amount of testosterone you're having, well, your hormones are kind of a product of your actions in your environment. If you're lazy as fuck sitting on the couch all day, or you work in an office all day, yeah, obviously your hormones are not going to be that great. Your, your hormone profile is not going to be good as somebody that's constantly moving, somebody, you know, that works, that doesn't work at that job, and their hormones are not going to be as good as, you know, our ancestors who were out there killing shit every day. Um, and this isn't to say that, uh, you know, better hormones, better testosterone is necessarily going to lead to more muscle mass. Um, I'm not a scientist. I don't know this shit like that. But I know that's not the case. Based on my own research. But who the fuck wouldn't want to have. Better hormones. Who the fuck wouldn't want to feel better. You know. Aside. You know. Fuck, fuck the physical aspect of it. You know. Who wouldn't want to feel better. But. You're not going to improve the way you feel. By doing nothing and that goes for your mental and your physical health and especially if you're a man you know i was talking about society kind of teaches us that we need breaks from shit you know you can only lift six days a week or you can only lift five days a week because you're gonna overtrain. you can't do too much volume you know why the fuck not why not you know half the time the science hasn't even caught up medicine in it of itself is still an art it's almost more of an art than it is a science there's so much that we don't know about medicine and what we prescribe for a certain person 
you know, could could vary in so many situations. You know, we might tell them to go get a surgery. We might give them this medicine. We might tell them that, that they just need to move their body. You know, it's completely context dependent. So medicine is as much of an art as it is a science because there's so much we don't know about it. But we think when it comes to training and working out that there's only one way to do it because we we're presented with this information that you can't train every day you can't do too high volume you know you can't do this and that why the fuck not you know i i believe half this shit is really just not true and the other half is just embellished Now, I'm not saying to go and say, you know, fuck science completely, but sometimes you just have to say fuck. You have to say fuck science. Sometimes you, your shoulder hurts, you got to say fuck your shoulder. And that doesn't mean go out and, uh, you know, go bench twice your fucking max. But it means you got to push through a certain amount of pain. You know, today we're told that you need rest. Uh, you know, you got to take care of yourself. Uh, mental health. Mental health is real. But I feel like this self-care shit is taken too far. Like, think about our fucking grandfathers who went out there and probably worked every fucking day. You know, they probably worked fucking way over 40 hours a week. But now we can't even handle 40 hours a week. So when people tell me that I'm doing something too often, oh, you're, 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 you're hitting your shoulders too often. You know, you shouldn't be sledding every day. Why the fuck not? You know, my, my grandfather probably went out there and worked every single fucking day. You know, probably drank every single fucking day, too, because the stress was so high. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. But shit, I mean, it's been done before. And who's to say this shit is bad for us? You know, people people now are probably just as depressed or even more depressed than they were 50, 60 years ago. And we're probably doing way less work. We're in the house more. You know, we're doing things that are so-called self-care. But it's not working for us. It's not making us any happier. It's not making our lives any better. You know, so sometimes I feel like life isn't about comfort. You have to get out of your comfort zone. You know, why, why do we have this notion that life should always be good? I feel like life should be productive. You know, we're kind of sold on this whole instant gratification thing nowadays. But people don't really understand the value of discomfort and feeling like shit 90% of the time. But then when you get the results at the end of the day, that's so much better feeling. That's a much better feeling because you know you worked for it. You know you earned it. And that makes the hard times bearable, that, that, that light at the end of the tunnel. Those hard times don't feel tolerable to us nowadays because all we have is comfort. So anything that's a little bit dis- uncomfortable seems like a huge challenge to us. And you know, I, I myself am a victim to that sometimes too. But that's all I have for this video. If you liked it, drop a like. I'm, I'm going to start throwing music in these videos, hopefully. Hopefully, I don't get copyrighted or anything. But let me know what you want to see in the future videos.